Mark, can you give me your views on the Taylor review that was released today? I think the biggest problem with the Taylor review is this is a 1950s solution to a perceived problem in the 21st century. He seems to think, and the argument around the gig economy, is that we're still trapped in some battle between the workers and the business owners, and that there's an unfair balance here, and all of these poor people who are delivering uh, fast food or takeaways or are driving people around competing against black cabs, these people are being undermined and not being treated fairly in some way uh, because these corporates won't give them rights. I think that's the wrong way to look at it. The gig economy is particularly fantastic for consumers. The sort of products and services that we either could not get or would be very expensive before this technology came online is just fantastic news for the economy as a whole but consumers in particular. Uber, for example, has put travelling by cab within the financial reach of many, many more people because prices have been cut. And the danger is that when you move in with regulation and insistences about whether this is a dependent relationship, whatever that's actually going to mean, you're going to undermine that economy. You won't just harm consumers who may well see their prices go up. You may actually undermine the people who are consultants, workers, self-employed and use these dependent platforms. And I think that would be an enormous backward step. The gig economy is overwhelmingly great news, but most uh, government reviews and politicians cannot actually look at a non-problem without trying to find some regulatory solution. So what policy solutions would you suggest, if any? We need to free up the labour market. We need to understand that you can't pigeonhole people into being dependent or not dependent. Some businesses are dependent on the yellow pages. Many businessmen are dependent on their mobile phone working. Uh, some people are dependent on eBay to sell stuff. Uh, there is a spectrum of dependency now, and we are going to have a very, very different labour market in the years to come, and one which I think and hope the government is going to find harder and harder to regulate. And ultimately, that will be good for businesses, good for workers, and good for consumers.